Ladies and gents, Six Figs here from YouTube. In today's video, we're talking about the one and only Definity Internet Computer. And we'll look at the charts here in just a second. AJ from AJ writes, Crypto, what will the Fed do with the interest hike today? Will they pause it? 25 points, 50 points? You know what, guys? I will show you on the charts in just a second what the market is preparing to do and how, what patterns I'm seeing, because I'm seeing a very bullish and a very bearish pattern. And really, everything is hinging on this interest hike. So I will be showing you that in just a second. Let me know in the comments what you guys think uh, is going to happen. If you're seeing this after the fact, let me know what you think of the hike. Or if it paused, let me know your opinions. Open chat, we'll be talking about this in just a second as well. They passed a proposal to add liquidity to the chat ICP trading pool on infinity swap so this is huge i believe open chat also passed a proposal to airdrop chat tokens to og uh, holders or excuse me og subscribers of open chat and we did get a banger out of uh definity on twitter fresh from the italian senate Internet Computer and Origin Tech join forces to present a revolutionary solution for Federal Italy 2021, Made in Italy brand. Now, this basically helps combat counterfeit goods from entering the market, things like that. And you can see Emilio is here presenting to the Italian Senate. And I will link a video of uh, Paul and Emilio presenting their information and stuff at the Italian Senate. I'll put that in the description, or better yet, I will put it at the end screen so you can just click on it. Uh, very interesting stuff, but as we all know, Italy makes some very fine jewelry, leathers, things like that, some very quality uh, goods. And uh, you know, there's a demand uh, when it comes to counterfeiters uh, reproducing items made in Italy. Uh, Dominic Williams was in Dubai for Blockchain Week. So this was the World Blockchain Summit in Dubai. And here is Dominic Williams talking with Michael Ionata, Ionita, excuse me if I, I know I butchered that. Uh, but here we have uh, Ricardo and some other gentlemen here front row uh, watching the speech. And we'll get to the most important question of the day, folks. Which smells worse, Sam Bankman Freed's shirt or his shoes? I'll say, uh, <laughs> oh man, I'm not going to comment on this, but I want to know what you guys are thinking in the comments section. Why don't you guys tell me what smells worse, this gross old shirt that he's been wearing for two years straight or these shoes that look like they just got found out of a dumpster? Uh, follow me on Twitter at real six fig There you will see a link in my description make sure you are joining me or make sure you are following me before you click on any links this link will take you to my open chat community which is called the trade tank community now this is a community to discuss charts patterns setups other stocks options trading anything trading related you can discuss it here whether you're a newbie whether you're an uh, advanced trader, I don't care what race you are, what sex you are, what your genetics are, whatever. Come on in. It's a good time. Uh, so here we are. We've got the top 200 pulled up. I'm not seeing ICP right out of the gates. Let's see if we can find it here. Nope. So let's look down here. ICP is up 0.3% on the day, down 1.3% on the week down 28 percent on the month and kind of getting back to what i was talking about earlier uh, with aj's post here is that icp is really in this unique position uh, let's look at this on the four hour chart so way back here on march 16th ish somewhere in there uh really about five six seven eight days ago i was kind of talking about how we were possibly going to see this harmonic pattern play out. And then I was also talking about how we could possibly see this falling wedge play out. And really, the harmonic pattern, in my opinion, might benefit the falling wedge. But uh, this other thing that I'm seeing here 
is a gigantic setup for a head and shoulders pattern that could strip uh, the market back down. So right now, uh, this, this harmonic pattern is still valid in my opinion. Really, uh, when it comes down to it, we're looking at the four hour uh, pattern, uh, but we did have um, a, a, an a, X, A, B, C uh, confirmation and D is looming here. So I'm kind of wondering if we are gonna see uh, this price moved down to about $4.74, maybe even down to $4.50. Um, but it could get worse, especially if this turns out to be some gigantic inverse head and shoulders. So there's, I, I think this move here, which unfortunately we just need to wait because we don't know what the Fed's going to do at this point. You can see that we have a very nice, you know, falling wedge. This is a very bullish pattern. And we've got this very nasty head and shoulders pattern that could set up. And realistically, either of these two patterns are one step away from executing, in my own opinion. And when we look at ICP on this, you know, the one hour time frame, you know, I was kind of watching price earlier and we had a very nice bull trap set up. I thought that this was going to be an ascending triangle. I didn't make any moves on this, uh, but this was just too short of a, too small of an ascending triangle for my taste. Uh, but you can see the bottom fell out here. So we're, we're really creating uh, bullish patterns right now that are not uh, printing money. Uh, right now, my best uh, inclination for myself is to just kind of chill and, and lay low. Uh, really, when it comes down to it, we've got an A, B, C, D. Maybe we'll get an E corrective wave to the downside here. I am just uh, waiting for the Fed, just like everyone else. And unfortunately, until we know this key critical component of what's happening with the fed we don't know which way this is going to go this is a coin flip uh, once it's confirmed uh, we'll know and if it's bad trust me you'll look at your portfolio and it'll probably be blown up uh, but with that said folks check in tomorrow when we go over what happened with the fed what the prices did where we could be going regardless of it's up or down check out my open chat that's where i'm at in between these videos that i'm doing thanks for watching we'll see you all on the next video